here I am pretending to be working from home because the reality is uh, I can't work so I'm at home doing nothing basically um, and, it, and a couple of reasons why I'm doing these video links is the uh, first one is that I do seem to have more time on my hands now uh, because I can't work so I'm stuck at home and I'm not allowed in case anybody shops me to do anything that I want to do um, and the other reason is that there's a lot of other people stuck at home and it, and it's just a way of keeping in touch and that, that's really what um, the, the point of today really uh, my daughter's working at home um, a lot of people are working at home and it keeps the country moving it keeps everything going and taking over and it keeps some kind of contact with the outside world um, and it, and it, in some ways it keeps a better contact than constantly staring at the news and the radio and uh, listening to all the overhyped negativity and scaremongering that's going on. I'm not saying there isn't a crisis, but um, um, but really, do you want to be listening to that 24 hours a day? Um, there's more to life. But there are problems with working from home uh, because people's homes aren't actually geared up for working from home in most cases. So the internet's slow, uh, the connections get lost, they get dropped out. Uh, people have got to make makeshift offices uh, wherever they can. Um, health and safety issues, insurance issues, all sorts of things uh, that nobody ever thought would come into play, and certainly on this large scale. So people can be isolated even though they're connected to the workplace. Um, and also when things go wrong, um, you can't just go up to your boss or go up to another colleague and have a moan and a whinge or and a, get it off your chest. Um, and there's nobody to pat you on the back, there's nobody to give you a hug, there's nobody to have a, a crafty brew with when nobody's looking. Um, so we're losing a lot of the, the community and a lot of social aspects of um, what work life would normally bring to us. So all I would say to those people is, um, yeah, just bear with it. Just crack on, do the best you can. And I think bosses and employees have got to understand that people are doing genuinely the best they can in a difficult situation. Um it does mean that some people are working longer hours than they would normally work. Um, you know, and, and I've always said working longer hours in the short term um, is not necessarily a bad thing, um, as long as it doesn't become the norm. You know, and, and we hope that this thing is going to get all sorted out sooner rather than later, uh, so that people can go back to a better way of living again, and hopefully a more, um, more caring way. That's really what we want to be aiming for. So uh, I'm going to pretend to be working again now and, uh, and crack on.